Hi and welcome to Little Bits YouTube channel. I'm Joe May. Today we're going to work on uh, making some handles and some feeders, but they work on boxes, your deeps, mediums, whatever. Uh, I made a video earlier with it, doing them with the uh, scale saw. A little more dangerous, but that's for some people that doesn't have any the equipment to do it with. Table saw is pretty a simple system. You can either use a wobble blade or a dado blade, just whichever you want. Set it to set, set either one of them to an inch wide cut. If you're using a wobble blade, you'll you'll spin the blade to, so it's all the way towards the fence because it wobbles back and forth. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's how a wobble blade works. Wobble blade's a little faster to set up. You get it over there, you measure from there to your fence and make it two inches. And then you come back to the center of your blade, dead center of your blade, which would be the boat going through. This particular one's an eight inch wobble blade. If you got a bigger wobble blade, uh, the measure would be smaller. But you measure from the center, 11 inches, put you a mark on your fence. And then measure uh, about two and five eighths from that mark towards your front of the saw. Take a square, square them down so you can see them. This is very important. You got to put a stop on this because this, uh, the, when you first start this, it'll want to grab the board. So you go on the first mark you make, put your block of wood in the seat clamp against your fence. Tack her down pretty good so it won't change. Now, the depth of your finger holds is whatever you want. Some people just like them three eighths deep. I like mine personally about a half. So you got to adjust the depth on your saw. Take your scrap board. As you can see, we're I'm right at a half inch. Leaves them, you know, three sixteenths meat in the handle part. And basically, that's all it is to. Setting, on, setting the saw up. We'll run a few through here and show you how fast you can run several handles through. Pretty easy. Put it against your fan. Let it down slow so it won't grab. Lift it up to the front. There's your handle hole. Okay, we'll run a few through here. Okay. Now you can see you make a lot of handles quick. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honeybee YouTube channel. 